I'm Missy Herbs, and I was likely one of the youngest Carolines um, to play the part. Um, I played it in 1997 um, at the young age of 16. Um, and if that's not a challenge to try to play an adult at that age, somebody from um, this era, um, it was it was most definitely a challenge, but it was absolutely fun. It was uh, at that point, um, my family, um, including my mom, my dad, and my two sisters, um, we had been in the pageant um, for about six or seven years to that point. Uh, and uh, took a couple of years off as I finished high school. And uh, my mom and I, um, Deb Saxton and I, um, returned um, in the early 2000s and uh, directed for a couple of years. So we had such a great um, uh, experience with the pageant. It was such a family affair that uh, we needed to come back. We had the, the itch that just wouldn't give up. <laughs> okay. Well, I think my experience um, in my years of playing Caroline um, were quite unique. Um, as I stated earlier, um, I was only 16 years old uh, when I played Caroline. Um, when I started in uh, the pageant, I was about 10 years old. Um, so for me, I was just a child. I was living this, oh, this is just fun to go and do as my, with my family. And I think like any um, young uh, child who participates uh, in the pageant, um, I think you have your aspirations to be Laura, to be Mary, or in my view, I never wanted to play those characters. I wanted to be Nellie um, because that was so much more challenging and exciting. Um, and so I, I did have that opportunity um, to play Nellie and never in my wildest dreams would I have ever thought um, that I would be cast um, as Caroline. Uh, but <laughs> the year came and uh, as I said, as a 16 year old, um, that grew its own challenges. Um, first and foremost, the, the first challenge that I, that I had to overcome was uh, the man who played Charles that year um, happened, to be, happened to play my father, um, Mr. Olson, the year before. So I went from being his daughter to being his wife. Um, so that was a unique experience to try to uh, um, recharacterize yourself. Um, but I was, um, like I said, I, I'd been in the pageant since I was 10. I loved the theater. Um, I had been involved in productions um, at our school um, when I was through high school too and junior high. And so I had just an absolute love um, for the theater. So the role of Caroline was, I, I saw it as a challenge and as an adventure. And it was something that I just uh, dove right into um, and just, just absolutely thoroughly enjoyed. Um, doing um but like i said i was 16. i didn't have any adult experiences i didn't know what hardship was uh, i didn't know what having children was like uh, though i loved young children and babysat and taught sunday school did those types of things i i i didn't know what it was like to care for children um 24 hours a day so i took um the studying for the role of caroline um, from my memory bank. And, and I think if you ask any character um, from the pageant, um, even 25 years later, if we return to the pageant, there are many scenes we can already recite the words to because we remember hearing them over and over again. Um, so I drew um, from, from all those years of being in it prior to my year of playing Caroline um, and drew from from, from Beth and from Connie and, and from Holly too, who played it before I did, and um, drew from, from my memory um, of how they portrayed uh, Caroline. Because again, like I said, I didn't have my own real life experiences at that point. Uh, and so I, I drew from how they portrayed Caroline and how, how they um, expressed themselves in um, specific scenes. Um, and at the same time, um, drawing from from the things that I studied, because um, I absolutely loved this era in history. Um, and anything that I could read or, or watch movies on about this era, I, I, just, I just dove myself into. Um, so some of the, some of the challenging uh, scenes that came along for me in particular 
Um, the one that daunted me the most um, above all others uh, was in the grasshopper scene. Um, and it was the scene where uh, Charles is standing along the fence um, and uh, he, he was there, he had been trying to save his crop um, and the grasshoppers were just, just relentless. That scene in itself, um, her being uh, supportive, uh, maybe a little bit nurturing, um, her sense of humor that comes out in which she made a grasshopper pie for supper, uh, for dessert for supper, um, that, those particular couple of lines right there were the hardest in my opinion um, to come out and because I really felt like those few lines really expressed who Caroline was. And, and again, I, I could only draw on my past experiences from these amazing ladies that are here with us today too and others who weren't able to be here. Um, and, and, and so I think I, I do wish or hope that in the future that there may be some other opportunities um, to express a few more okay. things. Um, a few more moments like that of Caroline. Another scene that I thought was uh, challenging for myself um, would have been the blind Mary scene. Um, I, I have witnessed again over time um, many different ways um, to portray that scene. Um, some have been um, exceptionally emotional, some have been very strong, um, and, I think, and I think that goes into our interpretation of how we see Caroline um, um, as, as a woman. Um, do we see her as strong in her faith um, and in her family values? Do we see her a little bit more uh, reserved? Um, and so I use that, that scene myself that, yeah, absolutely, we would be devastated um, to see our daughter um, go blind from this illness. But, but I always saw Caroline as, as a woman who thought, okay, I have my daughter alive. Many were not so fortunate at that time, but I have my daughter. And so I will look, look to the future, look to see what's next for her. What can I do for her? Um, and, I, and I do agree with many that have already said that she was an educated woman and she thought, no, Mary, this is not gonna stop you from uh, continuing your education, from continuing um, to grow into a beautiful young woman um, that we are going to rally together um, and, and move forward. Her, the strength that, she, that Caroline possessed um, in trusting God and her family um, just, just made me um, so much more excited to, to play this role um, and have this opportunity um, at, like I said, just a tender young age. And I think as I've grown um, older myself now, um, have, I am married, have my own children um, who are almost adults themselves. <clears throat> I look back and I appreciate these years I wish I could remember a few more things. Um, I think being so young, I didn't put some of the pieces um, into my long-term memory. Just the, the community um, that was here, uh, not only did you become, you know, was your immediate family, your, your parents and your siblings participating in this amazing, amazing production, but you became siblings to the other children that were there. You now had new aunts or uncles or grandparents um, that you inherited um, because of your production. And, uh, you know, even over the years, I mean, I get to sit next to Connie, who played my mother for several <laughs> years, and uh, we see each other at our grocery store um, around our community and, and just right back to those days of, of remembering um, when we got to be part of this amazing production um, and talking with people uh, that visited um, when you would wander around the community on pageant weekends, um, production weekends, uh, it, just being able to talk to those that attended the show, uh, they we're always in awe that we were real life people mm -hmm. and yeah this is my home this is where i live and it didn't seem out of the ordinary at the time again i was very young so it didn't seem odd to me um but now looking back i i realize how much of uh, an amazing opportunity um this this pageant was and and look forward to hopefully participating again um as uh, as the years continue on but um, Caroline, wow, what an amazing, um, what an amazingly strong, faithful, 
uh, determined, um, but yet gentle woman um, she she was, and and I think I bring a little piece of of her um, into my adult life now as I live with my my family and my boys. Um, the Ingalls used to get into the covered wagon out in the parking lot and travel across the back part of the parking lot um, through the back gate um, on the pageant grounds and arrive into Walnut Grove and. Uh, and that moment of uh, traveling across the uh, uh, wheat field, um, if it was at that point, um, with all the rocks and the bumps, um, that itself um, put me directly into uh, the character uh, at that time. Um, and having, having Laura and Mary or Carrie or whichever one of the girls in the back was arguing at the time um, was very fitting um, too. But even being an audience member, um, to sit on the hilltop and be able to look out over that countryside and over the prairie um, and the trees uh, and, just, and just think back to this Ingalls family and the travels that they did across this country, um, along with many other families um, that created uh, our community um, that, that we all live in um, here is, is just awe-striking um, for me. And um, so I, I just thought that that was such a, a moving moment um, for myself as playing as well as being an audience member. And, and as Connie had said, I encourage any family member out there or any family that would like to be involved. This is such an amazing opportunity and it'll stick with you um, for many, many years to come.